Um, so you seem to take to Nick's uh, message to take more threes. Why, what was it about tonight that allowed you to get into the rhythm and, and get more comfortable taking those shots? Uh, well, they was helping off my man. Uh, my man was helping off me a lot, really trying to be in the gaps. Uh, so most of the time I was just wide open. Uh, and they've been encouraging me to shoot. So once I get a wide open shot, I'm just going to shoot it. It was obviously quick to take you out of the first quarter. and said he didn't say anything to you. And he was happy with your response. What did you, uh, what did you take from that moment? Uh, no, nah, I was came off the game, really starting real slow. Uh, quit two turnovers, bad turnover. But it was just, they subbed me out of the game, uh, made a quick sub. We did really good when we made that sub. Uh, so it was really nothing. It was just, just come back in the game, just try to play hard, play better, play smarter, uh, lock, in, lock in, be more focused. So it was really just, uh, it was like a good thing to do. What's it like for you to hear Nick and Fred was telling us he's on you to make sure you're shooting? All, all these, everyone started telling you to shoot. What's that like for you, sort of in practice, hearing that support? Uh, if I'm open and I got good looks, why not shoot the ball? So it's it's not really something that's so big. Uh, it's just if I'm open, just shoot the ball. Everybody just been encouraging. We all believe in each other that we all can shoot. Uh, so. If, like I said, if I open looks and shoot the ball. Fred was saying that they're, they're giving you a lot of space, which is why you've been able to, to be more aggressive with that three-point shot. Um, you continue taking it and you continue knocking them down. How much do you think that'll do in terms of opening things up for your game in terms of your options and what you can do offensively? Uh, I think it'll be able to space the floor out more, uh, be able to allow other people to get driving rooms, uh, me being able to knock it down. Of course, it's going to get people more assists. Um, it's just going to help things open up uh, for us as a team. You ever take uh, nine three-pointers in a game? Never in my life. You ever made four in a game? Yeah. In high school, I remember one game. I'm, actually, I think I did take nine. I remember high school, I made seven threes in one game before. But that was it. Is that something you're conscious about during the game? You know, are you looking up the scoreboard? Are you, are you thinking you know you have a set limit for yourself? Or, or are you just uh, free to shoot the ball? Um, repeat that? Do you have like a conscious limit in your head of, you know, how many threes you want to take? Or, you know, when you see the number rising, uh, what are you telling yourself? Um, I didn't think of falling back, so I felt a little bit good. I mean, to add a tree more. I felt a little bit good today, so I just shot a little bit. What year was that in high school? Like, 10th, 11th grade, I think 11th grade. Scotty, you're defending a lot more bigs, uh, fives, even Ennis Cantor a bit tonight, and especially with Ken Birch out of the lineup, they're gonna kinda ask you to do that. Has that been the challenge, like on the glass specifically, has that been an adjustment coming out of college, like having to out-rebound these seven-footers? Uh, not really. Uh, I did that in college. We switched one through five, so I was going big in college. But even during the beginning of the season, I was still guarding bigs. Uh, so I want to say it's not a huge adjustment. Uh, just We just got a team rebound, uh, keep putting bodies on the bigs because they just plant themselves right under the paint, try to get those rebounds. Uh, but it's really just on us to be aggressive, be physical down there, uh, just man up. Is communication part of that team rebounding thing that maybe you guys need to improve? Uh, I would just say we always emphasize it all the time. Uh, uh, just try to put like two or three bodies on any scanner down low because uh, he's just such a big body trying to force his way inside the paint. Uh, so we just try to make a team emphasis on that, but we just got this on us to execute that. Did you enjoy the snow for that? Uh, I, never, I saw it. It was a good thing to see. Uh, I didn't really get hit by it. I just got in my car from the garage and went to this garage and I was perfectly fine. <laughs> How was the driving? Huh? How was the driving condition for you? No, it wasn't it was in no traffic for me. I got here pretty faster than usual. <laughs> We've been told, like, uh, you know, like, we've been working on a shooting program since, like, the, like, 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 since when you got drafted. Uh, so, and not like tonight, was it rallying, you know, like, like all the work you've been put in to see, to see you have, have a night like this? Uh, they believe in me. Uh, 
coaches, staff, players, uh, they believe in me. They just keep encouraging me to just be confident down the floor, uh, being able to shoot the ball when I got the open shots. Uh, and of course, it's just going to be, it's a lot of hard work that's put into it. So not be afraid to.